YouTube, it is Technical Paradox here, and today I am going to be teaching you how to create a password door lock in um, ComputerCraft. So, since this is a security program, we are going to be using a red floppy disk to stick the program on. So, what you're going to need here is a door. I'm using Reinforce to match the theme of my building here. Uh, you're going to need a normal computer or an advanced computer if you want. Um, either way, it works. Computer, normal computer is a lot more efficient since it's only going to be guarding a door. Um, you also need a disk drive, as I said earlier, a floppy disk, uh, a pressure plate, or and a pressure plate or a button. So the first thing we're going to do is, well, is make it daytime so we don't run out of daylight here. Uh, we're going to place down our door, or actually we're going to place down our pressure plate. Uh, I prefer a pressure plate. Um, you might prefer buttons, so you can just set one of them next to the door, it does not matter. Uh, if you want, if your computer is here, we're going to go ahead and place it on the computer and disk drive. Um, I'm also going to need a block there, because after the disk drive, after I'm done with it, I'm going to take it away. Um, so, if you, you can put a button on the back, if you hold shift, you can place these on like active blocks. So, pushing that will actually open the door, but I don't really prefer that, I would rather stick it there anyway. Because you might accidentally like select the computer and so it's just I think it's better to just use a pressure plate um so now we're gonna place it on the door we're gonna place this in the disk drive and we're gonna label the disk as uh, we're gonna label the disk as password door So let's go ahead and create a program on the disk called pass or door pass. And here we're going to put the uh, no termination. This is so that people can't hold control T to terminate your program. So we're going to do os.pool event equals os.pool event raw. Um, here is clear the screen. This isn't necessary, but well, the termination is, but the clear screen isn't. But I put it here anyway. Term dot clear, and I want to try to center the program as best as possible, just for touches. So uh, term dot set cursor. Um, let's try. 23 and 11. So then we're going to set the password. Um, I'm actually for this, for password equals, and I'm just going to put a space right now. I recommend you do the same for the disk, and then when you copy it over to the computer, you can edit it specifically for that computer. So if you're trying to, like, uh, if you're on a multiplayer server and you're trying to sell people this for, like, diamonds or something, or whatever you're doing it for, um, they can just put in their own password there and they won't see yours so yeah um, then we're gonna do get user info um, we're gonna do write uh, print will make it so that you type on the next line write will make it so you type on the same line so write basically doesn't put an enter after the uh, after the thing you tell it to write but print will put an enter after that so we're going to do write pass password or you can do pin number I'm actually going to put in a pin number I'll put pin number and then you put a space after the colon and bam so let's go ahead and check out what that looks like um, disk slash door pass so you can see here that that is a little bit off to the right as well as I messed up there so we're just going to type in something random and then it's over oh actually there was nothing messed up there like there's nothing messed up right here that was just my bad because I didn't put in the, uh, the thing where you actually type because that wouldn't show up there anyway edit disk slash door pass alright so that was a little bit to the right so we're gonna move that up a line to back to 10 and we are gonna move this over 21 then let's test out what this looks like
Um, that's pretty much spot on. And I like that. I'm actually going to move it up one more line though. Because uh, you'll see in a second. So let's move that up to a level 9. And let's test it out. So bam. So that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, then we're going to get the user information right here, so you'll see this in a second. Um, since we already declared password as a variable right here, we're going to do this for what the user enters pass equals read, and then we're going to put this in, we're going to put a quotation mark, an asterisk, and then another quotation mark. This will make it so that when you're typing in, it'll only show up as that. Uh, for security purposes, of course. And now we will verify password. Um, this is why I put this up a level so that I could do this fancy, fancy smancy, or fancy smancy. I don't, I don't know what to say. Fancy schmancy um, little thing here. Text utils dot slow print. Now this will slowly print out something. It'll print out verifying. I just like it for the added touch, and also we're gonna have to uh, term dot set cursor position. Um, we're gonna set it as 19 and then 10. So that's why I put it that on the next line. Um, so now we're actually gonna verify it. Uh, if if the password or if the pass that the user enters equal equals password then we will open the door so we're going to do to open the door we're going to do redstone dot set output since we since we have our computer to the right of the door we're going to do set output to the left and then we're going to set that as true um then we're going to do sleep and however long you want the door to stay open is how long you put it here. I only like the door to stay open for three seconds so we're gonna put sleep for three seconds and then we're gonna set the output back to false um, so now we're gonna do else in case they enter something else than the password we're gonna put redstone dot set er, actually we're not gonna put anything we're gonna put uh, sleep er, let's just put term dot set cursor position um, 20 and then 11 and I'll put print wrong and then we'll put end and then we'll reboot the system So let's try this out. Um, if we enter the right pin, which is this space right now, it will open the door. It will reboot the system. If we enter the wrong pin, or actually, uh, this slash door pass. I forgot to put a pause there so that you can actually see that you got the wrong password. So wrong password, it will say wrong. Alright, so we're gonna just put one little thing there since that wasn't centered exactly. And let's test it out one more time. Wrong password. Alright, so there we have our program um, so now we're gonna go ahead and copy disk slash door pass to the startup of the computer and actually what I forgot to do 
um, we're gonna have to set the label of the computer so that if someone breaks the computer it won't reset the password well, actually that's not exactly well I don't know it's kind of important but it's not really because they could just break in and put their own computer there um, but if you don't want to lose it uh, you can set it as door pass or door lock that's what I'm labeling the computer as so now uh, if you reboot or let me eject the disk first and then reboot it uh... it will only like it'll only accept the space and actually i did something completely wrong um... because i didn't get to put it in i forgot to edit just here look see if you break this it says door lock now and if you place this down uh... it'll still have that so i actually need to put down a new computer because i messed up i'm sorry um, so let's put this back in there we have to put our custom password in i forgot about that so label set door lock or whatever i guess and then uh... copy disk slash door pass to the startup and then we're going to edit the startup file and put in what we want the password to be or what your client wants the password to be so I'm just gonna put in a random number and let's save that and exit so let me wait, let me make sure that alright so now we can re eject the disk and we can reboot the system so now whenever we enter that it'll work and it'll just reboot right to the menu if you get the wrong one it'll say wrong so we're gonna go ahead and break the disk drive otherwise people could just very easily uh... bypass the system so now we have a fully working door system uh... if we want to get out you can type the password or you can just walk through so that's how you make our fully working door pass lock system password door so thank you for watching and I hope that this door door lock system works for you and maybe it will help you in your online PVP servers and stuff with locks you can set up all kinds of things like if you get the password wrong it could open up piston traps and just kill you um, but yeah so hopefully this all works out or worked out for you and hope you enjoyed the video please leave com likes comments uh, feedback I really appreciate it and see you next time.